Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. Uh, my name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. Today we're gonna talk about um, our daily technical analysis of oil and natural gas. Uh, looks quite strong, especially natural gas, wow. Some of these companies, they really killed it today, guys. And uh, guess what? Some of those, the best ones, were on the Finding Value website. We were loading up in them. And they've done very well today, so that's good. It's good for everyone who's on the website. I guess good for myself, you know, head on the back or something, I don't know. Um, we get lucky sometimes, guys, and, and I know where the, the, the pressure points are for some of these, and I know where the leverage is. Uh, that's, that's what's good. But uh, we'll take a look here. I'll give you my financial opinion. If you guys are interested in signing up on the website, please, uh, the link's below. Uh, the Platinum membership gets you all this information. You can see the videos I've been doing, too. Uh, you can see if I'm getting stuff right or wrong. Um, Again, I, I'm more of a long-term investor. Try our best to uh, time the stuff in the short term to get good entry points. Buy it, hold on, and let this thing rip. Let let it rip. And it is volatile. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, man. It is really volatile in these in these companies. But volatility aside, as long as it's working in our favor, I think we'll do fine. The demographic coming up supports all this, so it's, it should be good. Uh, we've got light crude oil futures. Yeah, we were down a little bit today, 2.5%. We're still above the breakout pattern. Uh, I'm expecting, hopefully, tomorrow, um, we get some firming up and this trend line holds. That's what I'm hoping for. Natural gas, uh, we'll see where this thing heads. You know, in all honesty, guys, I hope this is a little bit of a top where we come on back down here. Because if we come on back down here, and we are between seasons, if we come on back, I would love it because I really do want to buy some more natural gas companies. I really, really want to. So I am hoping that this comes on back. Uh, I know that we're going to have to live through volatility, but and and the accounts would go down. But I don't really care about the account value. I I just want to buy more more shares of some of these natural gas companies um, that I mentioned on our on the website. XOP. Uh, yeah, you know me. I have to say that. I don't know. But, you know, large update today. I don't know if we're going to get that pullback. This thing looks pretty strong. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Almost as if banks are front running the crude oil price. SM Energy uh, popping higher here, looking fantastic, closing strong. We're probably, this is probably a false breakout, uh, more than likely. Why am I so confident in it down here, even though it broke below the pattern? Because I know what. I know what games those these banks play. They, they they push you down. I know that the fundamentals are have never been better. We know that the ratios are still good. We know that they're compressing in a way that's favorable for us. So I think this is going to go higher. I mean that's that's been my take on it. I'm a buyer down at these levels, but CDV moving on up back within the pattern. Just what I thought. Uh, Crew Energy having a monster day. This is one of my largest holdings. Um, you can see it on the website if you guys want. We talk a lot about this. CPE, another one that's looking quite well today. We are below the pattern. This is pretty cheap. Uh, Athabasca oil being a powerhouse that it is. Uh, this is looking good. We've got Recaf. Yeah, it's down a little bit. You know what? Come all the way back to 450. I'll buy some more of you. Come on back. CPG looking good. Uh, coming up 4.6% right at support. Northern oil and gas right at support. Pulling on up. Looking good. Uh, we've got GTE, another one that was up 8.81% on sitting on top of a support level. No one would have guessed to buy off the support level. I, yeah, wait, wait, Finding Value does. Yeah, check out the Finding Value website. That's what. <laughs> uh, Tellurian moving on up, looking good. Uh, Padevco getting a little bit of a sell-off. It's right at support. We'll see if the support holds. Uh, Oasis, nice big update today. Uh, actually, I own a bunch in Oasis. But it's looking good. It's looking good. I actually own uh, the war the uh, warrants in it too. After it went bankrupt, Comstock Resources looking good, moving up nine point one one percent. No one would have guessed that one, guys. No one. Uh, SD also looking strong. Way to go, SD. Nine percent up. REI six point seven, right off the support line. That's weird. How how I play stuff like that. Uh, Surge Energy looking good, moving sideways. Nice good update today. Uh, Tamarack Valley looking good. This is broken out of its downtrend, looking fantastic, closing strong. Uh, we've got Crescent Energy still bouncing off its support. No one would have guessed that bounce off that support like that. Uh, we've got Vermilion Energy. This is also solid company moving on higher, 
Meg Energy on top of its pattern moving on higher. Looking fantastic, Meg. Uh, here we got OIH. This is Oil Vanek Oil Services. I I swear, guys, this is manipulation here. Like the way what they did here, this day here, they released that news and they just drove all this stuff lower. Like this was going higher. Same with uranium. All of this, guys. I I I do believe there's something larger at play here, and they're buying shares down here. These little shysters, you know what I mean? Look at TTI up 19. percent Really, this is a failed breakout. No, it's not. This is a breakout that's about to move. Release some good earnings, probably. A uh, rig doing well, up 7.26 percent, doing off this retest type thing. Yeah, you know it's, it looks good down there. We got pump moving sideways. We got Exterian moving sideways. I mean, it's up a little bit. Still looking quite solid. Valeris, wow, 9.38. It is popping. This guy's popping. Uh, got some earnings released. It's probably off the earnings. These guys are all popping. I love it. Why? Because I own a bunch of Valeris. <laughs> uh, MMA Offshore moving sideways. Uh, again, I like that one. Tidewater being in, being strong, up 5.25%. Uh, NEX, this guy's an animal. Beast, animal, ape, strong, lion, cheetah, some sort of mutant. Maybe we'll call it, this is Hulk. This is Hulk there. Uh, KLXE, it's down there looking quite solid. Uh, CHX, buying pressure stepping back in. Uh, WHD, Cactus Energy, right on support. You know what we do on support, guys. Nine moving higher, getting a little bit of nine. This is right after eight, if you know what I mean. We've got OII, OII, getting a little supports down there, guys. What do you think we do on support? I don't know. Nobody knows, right? Yeah, we do. Uh, Noble Energy looking good. Looking good, 7.1%. Um, just hold on to this beast. HLX finding some support. What do you think we do on supports? Yeah, I know what we do. CGGYY going up today. Hopefully we break this resistance line going across. Then we go to the motherland. The promised land sits above that line, guys. Uh, Petrofac, no way. It's up 5.63%. No one could have guessed that one. No one looks in, looking fantastic. McCoy Global looking good. I would like it. Diamond Offshore up another 6%, guys. Another 6% bullish engulfing. My goodness. No one could have guessed that. No one. And then we've got all of these. Looks like the coal companies. I'm not going to go over all of them, but they look good too. Uh, again, guys, everything looks really good here. I, I don't know what to say. Um, I know we had a pullback and people were getting scared. I don't know. I was getting excited. I, I have the opposite gene inside me, and I, I hope we fall a little bit in some of these companies. Why? Because I want to buy more. I, I Maybe I'm just greedy. I don't know. Um, I've got a big list here that I've talked about on the Finding Value website of stuff that I'm looking at. I'm still looking at stuff that's down, guys. And there's if there's some com companies that are still going down in some of the sectors, yeah, I'm looking at it for sure. And uh, I, hope, I hope that, you know, I, I know people get excited when things go up, but in all reality, we want some of these shares to pull back every once in a while so we can reload. Uh, I bought some, but I feel like I didn't buy enough on this pullback. Uh, I wish I had a little bit more. I'm sure everyone's saying that. I guarantee it. But uh, it's looking good. It's looking solid. Uh, I'm, I'm just I'm just grateful that I can see this stuff all kind of play out and be able to read this stuff um, because it, it does help you. It does help you. It, gives, it gains you the you know the confidence to get in here and start buying shares for cheap. And this bull market that's coming is going to be massive. It's it's based off the demographics. I did some more analysis. And the demographics are larger. It is coming. How, there's going to be more homes built. I, I think that the interest rates are completely tied to the de demographics. I don't think there's anything they can do. Rates are going to go higher. More homes need to be built. We are far too short homes. I don't care what anyone says on Twitter and any competing uh argument because their argument isn't live you know it's not it's not in depth with the data they 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 get snippets they compare it to 10 years ago and uh it it's just not the i just don't think uh i don't think they're they're standing on top of we'll call it solid arguments that's that's what i'll say uh, and and I don't know if the interest rates were the cause of the crash in the 1980s. I think the demographics ran out and we went into the Gen X de demographics. 
So it's a lot to chew on there. It's a lot to chew on if you really dig into it deep. So this all looks fantastic. I do think we have an energy crisis. I do think that we are walking right into one this summer. This isn't waiting five years from now. This is coming up very soon. Uh, we're talking months. It's months away. So I've positioned as heavily as I could in the companies that I like. Uh, if you guys want to see what I'm positioned in, sign up to the Finding Value website. Platinum membership gets you exactly what I own and what I think is good and what I would be buying at this time. All right, guys, give me a thumbs up for the content, subscribe to the channel, and thank you for listening. This is Finding Value.